When I was younger, I didn't know you could be a scientist as your job. Being a scientist isn't just one thing, you know, so you have all these different parts to it. I'm an officer in the Irish Navy. Uh, in the Navy, I'm an engineering officer, so I'm a marine engineer. I'm qualified to run the engine room, and if there's any pilots on board, that I'm capable of dealing with them. I'm not only doing defence, I'm also doing homeland security stuff and technology you use for that. The full years of my time I was doing both 50% teaching, 50% research. And this is of course very satisfying. Chemistry is everywhere. Everything, this is chemistry. And natural substances, they are chemistry. The lab, we are looking for uh, compounds able to uh, be active against resistant bacteria. So I work in evolutionary genetics, which means I'm looking at genes and how they change over time or how they don't change, and try to use that information to understand how the genes work. So as a marine engineer on board the Navy ships, I'm responsible for anything that's on board of that ship that's mechanical or electrical. I like working things out. I like puzzles. I like, um, you know, the whole, the whole thing of being presented with something and trying to figure it out. I enjoy that. Pilot Navy has a number of roles. Um, obviously, the first big one is uh, protection of the state and of Ireland and patrol all the territorial waters. I might spend most of the day reading because one of the things you do is you're reading about the work that other people are doing and from that you get inspiration and you get ideas and you also know what's already been done because you want to kind of build on what's known, you don't want to necessarily repeat something that's already known. Within the areas we carry out uh, drug interdiction, um, arm boardings, so we do searches for bodies. And some days I would be doing kinds of experiments which for me I do it all um, on computers, my work is all on computers. And so, but it was so it would be working with a computer doing analysis. And some days, you know, you're just trying to kind of come up with ideas. So you might even be kind of pottering around a little bit, and that still counts. I did German and I did biology. Um, but then I decided to do biology in, in, in university and physics, actually. And biology is much more straightforward, you know, you don't know it. So it's not about writing big, big texts, it's about um, doing experiments, you see, actually doing something. You see, I began with maths and physics, organic chemistry, and some bio and molecular biology. Always be interested by different things. I did really like science in school, but it wasn't the only thing I could have done. But I also really, really like um, the research I get to do, because when I'm doing research, I get to decide what do I think is really interesting and to try and figure that out. I think it's really special to be allowed to decide yourself you know, what you think is most interesting. Meeting um, new people every day, and it's, it never gets boring because you have always new threats, new te technologies, so it's not just working on one thing. In some sense, my closest colleagues in terms of the work I do are scattered around the globe. I'm very much a team player, I love working with the team. And uh, when you're working with a team, a problem comes up and you have to sit down and you have to figure out how you're going to solve the problem. And then once you come up with a solution to the problem and you manage to fix it, everything is back running as it should be again. It's definitely uh, the best part of the job. We're forced to team up with other scientists and people from other nations. Tokyo, New York, um, London a few times, France. Couple of times. You're traveling, which is kind of exhausting sometimes, but you're traveling a lot, you meet a lot of new people, and all the, uh, those are interested in the same areas you are, and um, you discuss everything, and at the same time, you learn about national habits. I did a lot of languages French, German, and English. I did German and I did biology. I was interested always in mathematics, it was an area in which I was good. I've got loads of different parts that I really like, so. I really like the teaching aspect I get to do, so I'm, I lecture in Trinity, and so I've got that part which is teaching. So you should really have a look at the interfaces of different things, and also subjects that are not very related at the first glance. Um, for example, what's very similar, for me at least, is um, science and economics. 
because science is what our uh, makes our economy go and grow. And that's very related. The pharmaceutical industry here in Ireland, we cultivated that industry over 30 years, and now it is producing results for the country. Ireland is very capable of having um, all these renewable energies. It's seen as a focus for renewable energies, and um, we're trying to promote that within Ireland so people are aware that Ireland is so capable of um, producing these. Being a scientist isn't just one thing, you know, so you've all these different parts to it. You need to know more or less how the future will look like, um, and that's what we're doing. So we look, how will the world be in 25 years? I think it's important to find something that you have an interest in. What you need to do is to learn to learn. Don't specialise too much, be, be curious uh, in a lot of subjects. Always be interested by different things. And you let nothing stop you. If you are a woman, and even if you are not, don't be afraid. The most important job in 20 years time probably doesn't exist today.